Good morning, everybody. This is Sheriff John Knowles. I'm here to talk to you today about some legislation that's being pushed through the Washington State House of Representatives, um, and many of these have a companion Senate bill to be considered in the Washington State Senate. Um, I think, uh, as your sheriff, I think it's important you know that I'm a strong uh, supporter and proponent of the Second Amendment and, and our rights to keep and bear arms. I think uh, the legislation I'm going to talk to you about today are several pieces of legislation that I believe are threatening our right to keep and bear arms as Americans and as residents of the state of Washington. Many people don't know that the Washington State Constitution has a very strong uh, Second Amendment clause in it. I think traditionally the state of Washington has recognized how important the Second Amendment is, um, but I think some of our elected officials lately have forgotten just how important that, uh, that constitutional right is. Um, and because of this, um, they've drafted some legislation, um, in specifically uh, House Bill 1902, um, which is enhancing what they're calling an enhancement to our uh, rights to purchase and transfer firearms. Um, we have House Bill 1903, which uh, putting additional responsibilities on reporting lost or stolen firearms. Uh, House Bill 2021, which concerns the disposition of privately owned firearms in the custody of state or local government entities or law enforcement agencies. And House Bill 2054, considering, considering the bulk purchase and transfers of firearms. And House Bill 2118 which uh, is titled Protecting the Public from Gun Violence by Establishing Additional Requirements for the Business Operations of Licensed Firearm Dealers. Specifically in House Bill 1902, it establishes a permit process for you to exercise your right um, to keep and bear arms and to purchase firearms. This essentially would require anyone in the state of Washington to go through a background check and also obtain training to be licensed to purchase firearms. Now clearly my personal opinion as your sheriff, um, this violates your constitutional right to keep and bear arms. I personally believe that um, you know, we have the right to purchase and possess and bear arms. Now this statute, if it's, uh, if it's brought to bear, would then say that the state has the right to give you, the citizen, the ability to purchase. And we know that is completely contrary to the United States Constitution. It's completely contrary to the ideas presented in the Washington State Constitution. Um, House Bill 2118 is going to put so many requirements on businesses that sell firearms that most will be unable to afford the requirements of um, you know, video surveillance in all areas, storing all video surveillance that they capture um, by their required cameras for up to six years plus the current year, um, which if you're not familiar with the expense of storing video and digital evidence, it is exorbitant. Um, I know one local uh, gun dealer here in Spokane, just complying with House Bill 2118 would add almost $300,000 in operating costs to them, um, which is not sustainable by that business. And that's a long-standing, very popular business here in Spokane County. So I guess what am I asking you as the sheriff to do? And I'm not telling you how to, how to believe about this. What I'm telling you is, is I think there are some things going on in our legislature right now that threaten the Second Amendment. What I would suggest you do as a voter and as a citizen here of Washington State Call your elected officials. Call the members of the House Civil Rights and Judiciary Committee, and you can find that online uh, pretty easily on the state's website, who the members of the House uh, Civil Rights and Judiciary Committee are, and let them know what you think as a citizen about the bills that I've mentioned. Too many times we have elected officials, when I ask them about why they're passing these laws and why they're attacking you know, our Second Amendment rights and, and attacking our ability to police people, they say that they never hear any opposing opinions to the legislation that they're passing. Now, I don't believe that's true, but 
what I do want to make sure is that we as citizens have our voices heard. So contact your legislature. Let it be known what your opinion is of what they're doing and let them know what you believe as a citizen so they can't step up in front of a camera or a microphone and say that they didn't hear any opposing opinions. It has to be known that there are people who either support or oppose their legislation. So as your sheriff, I think it's important for you to understand what's going on in the legislature. I think it's important that we watch. I think we have an activist legislature um, that has a, a Democratic majority right now. And I think we need to let them know what we as the citizens of Spokane County, either pro or con, believe about the legislation they're pushing. Be active, be educated, and let your voice be heard. Thank you.